A prosthesis driven by the nervous system aids individuals with amputations in walking naturally. Greetings, everyone. Today we will be delving into a fascinating subject regarding the remarkable advancements made by researchers at MIT and Brigham and Women's Hospital. They have successfully developed an extraordinary surgical technique known as the Agonist-Antagonist Myoneural Interface, AMI, which revolutionizes the field of prosthetics by allowing amputees to walk naturally with a prosthetic leg that is fully controlled by their own nervous system. This groundbreaking innovation involves reconnecting muscles in the residual limb, providing crucial proprioceptive feedback that enables patients to walk with increased speed, navigate obstacles more effectively, and ascend stairs in a more fluid manner. The remarkable findings of this study, which has been published in Nature Medicine, highlight the impressive effectiveness of the AMI surgery in restoring neural control and significantly enhancing functionality for individuals who have undergone amputations. Without any further delay, let us dive into our in-depth exploration of this extraordinary breakthrough. The latest generation of prosthetic limbs allows individuals who have undergone amputations to walk in a manner that closely resembles a natural gait. Nevertheless, these prosthetics do not offer complete neural command over the limb. Instead, they rely on robotic sensors and controllers to execute movements according to predetermined algorithms for walking. A groundbreaking advancement in surgical intervention and neuroprosthetic interface has been achieved through the joint efforts of MIT and Brigham and Women's Hospital. This remarkable development enables individuals to achieve a seamless and organic walking motion by utilising a prosthetic leg that is completely controlled by the body's own nervous system. By re-establishing connections between muscles in the remaining limb, patients are able to receive invaluable proprioceptive information regarding the precise positioning of their prosthetic limb in three-dimensional space. During their study, the MIT team observed that seven patients who had undergone this surgery exhibited improved walking speed, enhanced obstacle avoidance, and a more natural ability to climb stairs compared to individuals who had undergone traditional amputations. According to Hugh Herr, who is a professor at MIT and co-director of the K. Lisa Yang Center for Bionics, this groundbreaking study represents the first ever instance of a leg prosthesis being controlled by the nervous system through full neural modulation, resulting in a biomimetic gait as opposed to relying on a robotic algorithm. The agonist-antagonist myoneural interface, AMI surgery, has proven to be effective in reducing both pain and muscle atrophy in patients. This innovative procedure has been performed on approximately 60 individuals globally and has shown promising results, particularly for arm amputations. The paper, set to be published in Nature Medicine, is authored by Hyungun Song, a postdoctoral researcher at MIT's Media Lab. The coordination of limb movements relies on the synchronized actions of muscle pairs that undergo a continuous cycle of stretching and contracting. However, when a below-the-knee amputation is performed, this delicate interaction is disrupted, posing challenges for the nervous system in perceiving muscle position and contraction speed. These sensory inputs are vital for the brain to effectively control and manipulate the limb. Individuals who have undergone this specific amputation face difficulties in effectively managing their prosthetic limb due to the inability to accurately perceive its spatial positioning. As a result, they depend on robotic controllers and sensors embedded within the prosthetic limb to identify and adapt to inclines and barriers. In order to assist individuals in attaining a natural walking pattern controlled by the nervous system, Hare and his team devised the AMI surgery. This surgical technique involves linking the severed muscle ends in the remaining limb, enabling them to communicate and function harmoniously. The procedure can be conducted either during the initial amputation or as a subsequent revision surgery. According to Hare, the goal of the AMI amputation procedure is to establish a physiological connection between native agonists and native antagonists, enabling individuals to control their phantom limb with natural proprioception and a full range of motion. According to a study conducted in 2021 by Hare's lab, it was discovered that individuals who underwent this particular surgery exhibited enhanced control over their amputated limb muscles, utilizing electrical signals comparable to those observed in intact limbs. 
In light of these encouraging findings, the scientists delved into the possibility of utilizing these electrical impulses to control a prosthetic limb and receive information about its spatial orientation. This would enable users to make adjustments to their walking pattern based on the proprioceptive feedback they receive. The recent research published in the journal Nature Medicine has provided confirmation that this sensory feedback leads to a seamless and almost lifelike walking experience, as well as effective navigation of obstacles. With the help of the AMI neuroprosthetic interface, we have successfully improved neural signaling, allowing individuals to regain their natural ability to fully control their gait across different terrains and obstacles. A comparison was conducted by the researchers between two groups of individuals, seven who underwent AMI surgery and seven who underwent traditional below-the-knee amputations. Both groups utilized an identical bionic limb equipped with a powered ankle and sensors that detected electromyography, EMG signals from the tibialis anterior and gastrocnemius muscles. These signals were then transmitted to a robotic controller which computed ankle movements, torque and power. The participants underwent testing in a variety of scenarios, including walking on flat ground, ascending a slope, descending a ramp, navigating stairs and traversing an obstacle-filled level surface. Individuals utilising the AMI neuroprosthetic interface demonstrated enhanced mobility and agility across various tasks. Their walking speed increased, allowing for a more fluid and natural gait. Additionally, they exhibited improved obstacle navigation skills and seamlessly coordinated movements between their prosthetic limb and intact limb. Notably, they were able to generate the same level of force while pushing off the ground as individuals without amputations. The AMI cohort displayed the emergence of natural biomimetic behaviours as Hare observed. Individuals without AMI had the ability to walk, but their prosthetic movements were noticeably slower and lacked the same level of naturalness. Even with the AMI providing less than 20% of the sensory feedback that non-amputees receive, these natural behaviours still emerged. The song highlights the importance of even a slight improvement in neural feedback, as it can have a profound impact on enhancing bionic neural controllability. This improvement enables individuals to effectively control their walking speed, adapt to various terrains and successfully navigate around obstacles. Collaborative efforts have led to significant progress in the restoration of function for patients with severe limb injuries, according to Matthew Carty, an associate professor at Harvard Medical School and a surgeon at Brigham and Women's Hospital. The objective of Hare's laboratory is to empower individuals with limb impairments to have direct control over their neural functions, shifting away from the need for complex robotic controllers and sensors that, although highly capable, lack the natural sensation of being an extension of the user's body. According to Hare, the problem with exclusively depending on robotic controllers is that individuals do not experience the prosthetic as an integral part of their own body. The objective is to establish a complete connection between the human brain and the mechanical components of the prosthesis. The research received financial support from various institutions, including the MIT K. Lisa Yang Center for Bionics, the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, a Neurosurgery Research Education Foundation, Medical Research Fellowship, and the Eunice Kennedy Shriver National Institute of Child Health and Human Development. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.